Okay, everybody. So, we're back with another video. Today, we are running a little bit late, guys, I'm sorry to say. Not that we're short of ideas. You can see I've got a few wrote down here, but I thought it would be nice to get feedback from, you know, the guys. Well, I was thinking maybe we could do something to do with the MTV Scream the series, maybe like a review or something. Okay, well, we'll make a note of that. I like the fact you said the Scream. Not so sure about the whole thing of the series, but I'm definitely going to note that one down. Let's leave a, a big bullet point next to that one. Just a mark the Scream the series. We'll uh, discuss that one at a later date. But um, other than that, what else do you guys think? I was thinking maybe we could do something, yeah, mask related. Let's um, make a little note of that. Maybe talk about the mask law. Maybe give people some other insights what the stamps mean. And just help with some of the other. What about? I've got an idea. I've got an idea, guys. How about we do a movie review? Like from Rapper said, but a movie. We've got a lot of Blu-rays. And I think we can make something out of it if they're popular, you know? I think, I think you're onto something there, you I think we could actually make something out of a movie review series. You know, we're all killers after all. We've got a fair enough knowledge on horror movies. I think it's, we can all say we're inspired by them. Well, if we're on the subject of that, maybe Scream the series could go first and then we could do a movie. Okay, well, we can ignore what you said. The Mutilator. That's what I'm thinking. You know the one, my favourite film, The Great Slasher. Well, <laughs> I'm not so sure about the Mutilator. He's on a good subject of saying we should look at maybe like a slasher. I think that's definitely something we can note down here. Now, okay, guys. Let's just let's just carry on. Okay, let's let's just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Okay. Um, so anyway, we've got a um, few ideas for. He's 
made a few notes he wants me to read out. He's not the biggest talker, but he's pretty good at writing. He wants to emphasize that for Paul was very nice. It's a nice thick mask. You can do for a repaint, but he said, fortunately enough, Trick or Treat Studios were nice enough to give him a very nice <laughs> a very nice impression of the mask. This version is very well painted. It actually came out very white, like they usually do. The hair is also a very nice quality as preferred to some of the other masks. He wants me to also show you how the mask looks on display as, believe it or not, he likes to display his mask himself. Well, thanks for tuning in to another one of my videos, Horror Freaks. I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you're new, be sure to subscribe, more content is along the way. Leave a comment to let me know what you thought of this video. As always, stay spooky, and be sure to share the scares.